you, did you sleep with a buddy of his? I was trying to push him away. I mean, after the buddy was letting me know that he's out here gambling away our life again. In my mind, I said, this is it. This is the last time. She's the judge who gives rules on the law and life. She's intense with common sense. She's Judge Lynn Toller on Divorce Court, where real couples deal with real life. 34-year-old Shantae met her 41-year-old husband Matthew by chance in a bar. They rolled the dice and married three weeks later. But now, after nine years of marriage, Shantae says their gamble on love is over. He has ruined me financially. I even cheated on him to try to push him away, but he still hasn't gotten a hint. So I'm here today to let him know I'm done. I'm here today to get a divorce, even though I don't want this divorce, and show my wife that I love her. Shantae says she's done with Matthew's gambling and stealing. Today on Divorce Court. All rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the case of Shantae Wilson versus Matthew Wilson. Mr. and Mrs. Wilson, you two have been married for nine years. You have two children together, and Mr. Wilson, you adopted Mrs. Wilson's child from a previous relationship. You now, however, want to end your marriage, and Mrs. Wilson, you are seeking $3,000 from your husband for what you say is the amount that you are owed from an income tax return that he inappropriately took from you. And I will get all the information with respect to that income tax return later. However, before we do that, I'm gonna ask you, Mrs. Wilson, to tell me a little bit about your marriage and why we're here in divorce court today. Well, Your Honor, I want a divorce from this man over here because he has ruined my life financially. He is a gambleaholic. He's gambled away. We were living the American dream. And he's gambled away our entire financial sustenance. I mean, he went to Florida just recently because he was supposed to be gathering up money mm -hmm. in order for us to move from Ohio to Florida. Right. Well, he hadn't saved any money, and he was texting his friend, asking him, where's the casino here, the casino there? So he's taking all his money that he earned while he was out, and I was home holding it down. Mm -hmm. He's taking all his money and just gambling it all away. And that's not all. I mean, there was another time that he has stolen money. I was pregnant with our now eight-year-old. Right. He stole money out of the ch out of the mailbox from a previous tenant and took that money cashed it in bought our child to be a um, a, um, a gift for the mm -hmm. pregnancy and that money of course was a joint account a joint savings account so they called both of us in I could went to jail I'm a registered nurse and he almost ended up sending both of us to jail, jail. because he took that money, money. and cashed it Mr. Wilson, now she's drawing a picture of a of a of a, of a, of a, a embezzling gambler. What, and what, you know what? what? She has a point with. My biggest problem was gambling. Yes, I am. I admit that I'm a gambler. I was always a gambler. But as our marriage has are gone, are you a gambler or are you? Do a, you have a gambling problem? A gambling I have a gambling problem. problem. Okay. I do admit to that, but. But what she is trying to point as, I'm stealing all this money. Yes, I took a check, and you know what? I did not think it's through. I was not thinking right. You know, I have more money. Than just and a check. I, I'm talking He's to her right now. Wait, 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 wait. Wilson, I will finish. He did not interrupt you. You will not interrupt him, sir. But when it comes to the money issues, Yes, I admitted, and, and she knew I was gambling. She, matter of fact, our first date, I took her out to a fancy restaurant on money that I won at the casino. The I next day, the next day, the well, I was still speaking had to money you. Mrs. In the I, Wilson. I, Mrs. Wilson. I took her, I got her a brand new leather jacket. She knew where I was getting this money from. She knew I went to the casino. I like this. I thought I you even were taking care of her. Mrs. About Wilson, it. one more time, and you will be seated. I talked to her. About uh, uh, playing cards, I love playing poker. I'm a Texas Hold'em lover. But did, you, did you ever say to her, um, I, I think I have a little problem with this, or did she ever say to you, She has said that, I yes. I think you, you do and, this and, too and, much. And as like everybody knows, you deal with like Mrs. As, Wilson, have a seat. As you're like, you know, when you talk, deal with an alcoholic, it's the same thing with a gambler. I. It's not something that I could shut right off overnight. But right. as our time in our marriage has gone, I have lessened and lessened and lessened all my casino runs. I, the last time I've been there is months and months ago. But yes, 
I did go. Unfortunately, she had an affair with, with, the, with the four months that I spent down in Florida trying to get her and my kids down there. She worries about money being sent home. She had, she had all this money, when? all this money from, from. She had an affair when? When I was in Florida trying to move us down there. But she took a, she says, here's what she makes the excuses. It was a challenge, man, because he said, it will never happen. She did took you, it as a challenge. Did you sleep with a buddy of his? I was trying to push him away. I mean, after the buddy was letting me know that he's out here gambling away our life again. Because this was like, in my mind, I said, this is it. This is the last time. So I told myself, I'm going to see what Matthew does. Matthew didn't do good. So I told myself, you know what? This is going to be it. And if I sleep with one of his buddies, then he will not he will be done with me. Matthew will not want me, but it didn't work. So, Miss, Mrs. Wilson, I will say this to you. It, <laughs> never, mean, it never seeks, ceases to amaze me the extent to which people will not take personal responsibility for what happens in their lives. You want to cut him, cut him short, cut him loose, say, hey, baby, go by, goodbye. You don't need him to do it for you. But that doesn't Honor, make any sense. Your Honor, he won't go away. When Divorce Court continues, is this marriage bankrupting Shantae? He bid on a vehicle, won the bid. Who paid for that vehicle? I had to file bankruptcy twice, Your Honor, twice in my life. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or visit our website at divorcecourt.com and become a fan at facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court is back with the case of Shantae Wilson, who is divorcing her husband because she claims he steals her money and gambles it away. But does Shantae have some explaining of her own to do? She just got a chunk of money from the mortgage company, $23,000. You know what she did? Instead of trying to save the house, she goes and gets a boob and tummy tuck. He won't keep a job, okay? There was this one time, he lies about it. There was this one time he told me that he was going to work. He hated the job, but he was going to work. So I call, he calls me and tells me how the day is going, and I call his job because I'm a little suspicious, and I find out that he told the job he got hit in a parking lot by a car while he was riding his bike to work. And so I call him back. No, he calls me back. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to be getting off early today. And you know what? Matter of fact, I'm not going to have to go to work on Monday either. Well, he just got finished telling his job. Yes, he got Sean, hit by yes, a well, and then I did do that, him, and you know what? Wait, 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 maybe it was, it was a response to, you see how she's getting riled up. I don't want her to get riled up when I did, and That's I did the, the lie, but I did to. do the lie. I, I admitted through my marriage, I lied about my money. That was my fault. You but but she job, also took me to the, the, to the doctors, had, the psychologist, and got me, got me, yeah, I did. I lied about a bunch of things in my life. I did, especially when it came to money okay, and, and jobs. I'm losing but, my house because but, of no, it. No, 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 I no, 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 the house thing, she's taking that all and blaming it on me, but it's not all my fault. It's, my it's our house. It's not our it's money. Us, oh, it's it's my money. Mr. Wilson, I, I hear what you're saying, but, but well, the story that you're telling me is not necessarily a man simply with a gambling problem. And I got diagnosed with ADD. You have a, a sick relationship with money all the way around. And, 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 and part of it not was right. we, that's yes, why we yes, went to a psychologist and us. I got diagnosed with ADD. The problem is the medicine that I got put on for ADD, you can't have a CDL. You cannot drive a 18-wheeler with it because right. they, that is considered a, right. uh, a, a some kind yeah, of Yeah, no, mind-altering substance and you can't exactly. do it. Exactly, you can't do that. Plus it made me sick. So what well, I do like, now, what I do will now. you let the man finish the sentence? <laughs> what I do now is, and, and sh she should even openly admit on this, is in the last few years, I have kept my job. I did make my bills, but I did, I that. did do this. Okay, I got an $80 uh, phone bill. Well, I'll set that to the side just to take the kids out for a thing. And then I totally forget about paying it as, a, and then also I get a notice you're gonna get disconnected. Then that's when she gets all mad and says, why didn't you pay it when it came in? Can't no, you but you sure as heck Mr. enjoyed Mr. going to dinner and having that Mr. new Mr. Watson, outfit. Mr. Watson, let, let me say this. You know you have a problem with money. Yes, I do. You know you don't, you don't spend it well, you, don't, you know you don't, ow, oh, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. <laughs> you tell that ADD to cool itself out till okay. I'm finished. Uh, you have to take that into account when you structure your life. 
If you are a person who you know won't do the right thing with a dollar, you put the dollar where she is. And so I have she offered can to do, do that. that. I said, if when I get, your because honor, I don't have a job right this now, please, right now, honor. because when I came back from Florida, I came back and I want to resolve it. I even told her I loved her and I want to get this resolved. Yeah, I even offered her, before. I will give you my full We've check. When I get though. my jobs, uh, I will give you my full check. You my deal with the bills. You, all you got to do is give me enough for gas. Gas. And that's all you need. That's all I need. That's all. I need. Ms. Wilson, would you, why don't you respond to what he's talking we about? We tried the different routines, the different kinds of ways to make our relationship work. Sure. He still goes and does something stupid, rather stealing my money or taking some DVDs and pondering them off. And he still, he has problems. He acquired, he went on eBay and acquired a bid, bid on a vehicle. He had no money. He bid on a vehicle, <laughs> won the bid. Who paid for that vehicle? I had to file bankruptcy twice, Your Honor, twice in my life. I'm a registered nurse. I make good money. But that's not all my home. fault. She's, she's putting on. it all as my fault. Yes, I did bid on the car. And you know what? That was my mistake because I didn't think I was going to win that car anyways. But I, I did. Why would no, you no, get no, But I know, exactly. I know, I know, I know it was stupid. When Divorce Court continues. Matthew's ADD strikes a nerve with Judge Lynn. Mr. Wilson, you do not interrupt me, yes, ever. Ma yes, ma'am. If you would like your case heard on Divorce Court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com and follow us on Twitter at Divorce Court. Divorce Court returns with the case of Matthew Wilson, who claims his wife's extramarital affairs ruined their marriage. But will Matthew be forced to pay back $3,000 Shantae says he stole from her? He forged my signature right. and cashed it. And so three days later, as he's spending money on me and the kids, I'm up here thinking, oh, this is so sweet. And then 3 o'clock in the morning, it dawns on me, wait a minute. Your problem isn't necessarily money. It's, it's decision-making capacity. It is. And, 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 and that, is why, that is why we went to a psychologist so she can explain this in more detail. Because she gets all riled up. She gets very riled up. And then when she gets all now, mad like this, all now. I, is he taking I, I tone her out. I, I literally shut down. And, can you and she, understand she don't her? follow me from one room to the other. You I do that with doing me. That. I yeah, stopped, you know I uh, stopped doing that. Well, soon as but, but, but she'll do, hey, 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 but hey, when she does hey, do hey, that, hey. I tone her out. And I will tone her out. It, it, it. It seems that you stopped that because you figured out it wasn't getting you well, anywhere. We, Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. When we went to the psychologist and they told uh, told me, they said, no, don't do that. I listened. I took in everything that the psychologist said. Well, what did the said. psychologist tell you to do? She told me, go. If that's what she said, I know you, Shantae. You're a strong woman. You're hardworking. I know the type of person you are because we were with her for two years. She said, you know what? If that, if that is what making is what making you turn into this, leave. She's on sugar dad, uh, some sugar daddy website to because find I'm herself done. a rich man. Yes, all right, sir, and then I'm all she keeps him. talking I'm about is I'm gonna get myself a millionaire. Man, I'm like a millionaire. It's a millionaire. She no. wants someone who is filthy you know what? rich. Well, yeah. I'm kind of uh, okay. Which I don't Everybody that. wants to marry somebody. Exactly. Everybody to stop. Mr. Wilson, my question to you is this. You don't want to get divorced, do you? Because she's not. No, no you know what? Because, you no, know, Mr. Wilson, I, it's love. Mr. Wilson, you do not interrupt me. Yes, ever. Ma'am. Yes, ma'am. When divorce court continues, does Matthew make this an open and shut case for Judge Lynn? So you did do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Divorce Court returns with the case of Shantae Wilson and Matthew Wilson, who are bowing out of their nine-year marriage. I had him be a stay-at-home father, Your Honor. I was paying him $200 a week in mm -hmm. allowance, saying, you stay at home with the kids, right. I'll hold it down. That wasn't good enough. He but said, sure well, I'm going like me. I'm cleaning, I'm doing, and why? He I'm said, not, I'm I'm not sitting around. Well, why does that work out for you? 
What's Why that? didn't that work, the stay-at-home dad thing work out for you? What was I, I got anxious, and this is prior to the ADD diagnosis. Sure. It was so you were having that, difficulty maintaining. I was, within I was that like, I, I got to do more. I got to do more. I got to do more. I, I'm, I'm a, a person who's constantly going and going and going. Well, if you were to be a stay-at-home dad and you would get medicated for the ADD, would the, the stay-at-home dad thing work a little better for you? Uh, most. Most likely, yes. Most likely. Is that something that you not yet. try to put out there? But, but I also feel that I should contribute. That's just my way. I mean, yes, but I have can't. made my mistakes with it. But you can't. It. So you've got to do what you can do instead of still beating her on the head with what you can't. What was the final straw for you, Mrs. Wilson? What made you the final file, this, file this petition for divorce? My final straw, Your Honor, was when I got the notice saying that my house was going into foreclosure and being taken away from me. Were they his acts that put you into that position? Yes. You know what? Here's the funny thing. She just got a chunk of money from the mortgage company, $20, $23,000. You know what she did? Instead of trying to save the house with that money, she goes and gets a boob and tummy tuck. Yes, Your Honor, because I'm done. I mean, Come on. he takes that money, okay, he gives it my to fault? the casinos. We can't see any of that. I can see this. And plus, oh, what else I did with that money she is sure I gave it, like the stuff I that spent I got. Paid brand off the new, cars brand with my new casinos. clothes for my children instead of getting them from the secondhand store. Who, but what I, did you think the best thing for your children would be was to maintain residence in the house in which they live? I'm done with that house. That, that's I'm done with that house. I want to move to Florida. Tell me about the three thousand dollars you're seeking uh, from me. The three thousand dollars, Your Honor, is I got a. Um, I filed for an injured spouse claim, which is through the taxes, which right. simply separates his debt from my debt. So right. 2008, they took... So you obviously had unpaid obligations that the IRS was holding back money for. Is the, that accurate? For child, a rear child, child support. Child support. And okay. back taxes. And back taxes? Yeah. I, okay. Yes. Yes. So that money that was mine, because I always claimed zero, that they right. sent to his debt, I went ahead and filed for. So I filed for that. It came in the mail. He intercepted it. Uh -huh. He forged my signature right. and cashed it. And so three days later, as he's spending money on me and the kids, I'm up here thinking, oh, this is so sweet. And then 3 o'clock in the morning, it dawns on me, wait a minute. Where did he you get got it my from? check. Exactly. So I went downstairs while he's sleeping on the couch, and I said, did you steal my money? And he's like, what are you talking about? My money, no, my check. Did you take my money? Yes. So he shows me where, how much was left. I said, give me all my money. Of course, he spent a lot of it at the casinos. So the $3,000 i am suing for is for that. And I have proof that he forged my signature, because yeah. I have my ID with me to show that that is not my signature, Your Honor. Out of spite, out of spite, no. I did this. No, out of spite, no. because out of spite. I found out. Okay, now so I'm you did like... do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love your honesty, Mr. I mean, Wilson. She I do. ticked me off yeah, you enough can, you that I said, it. I said, I said, I'm going to go and spend this money because you went and got this $23,000. You okay, go and get a boom job. I got it. I got it. I got it. And she bought I'm two done. cars. I'm done, Mr. Wilson. I'm done, Mr. Wilson. Let me tell you something. You got a lot of nerve being ticked off about anything behind all the stuff that you did to her over I, the years. Uh, yes. She may have made a bad call with, 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 with all of this situation no, here, so but she was frustrated, she was angry, and you have put her in one jack pot after another. She spent all her time pulling you out of all the stuff that you have done. It is a tiring and difficult thing. And not only did you take her money, it's not just a financial thing. You took her security. And yes, she did make, make some bad financial decisions, but you got a lot of nerve saying anything to her about her. Having said that, I will say this at no time. Have you do have the right to forge somebody else's name and, and, and take their money. It's illegal. It's crime. At no time can you steal money. Problem or no problem. Three thousand dollars in favor, of Mrs. Wilson. Thank you, Your Honor. It is so ordered. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. I admitted my wrong. And that's money for our children. I admitted. I admitted. I, I admitted I was wrong. I apologized. But apology doesn't put I know. food on the table. Yep. Does not put clothes You're on right. our children's You're right. backs. You're right. You're right. So. You're right. I'm not here to argue with you. I told you I loved you. I wanted to make this and you work, know and I, love I was you. I to... want us to be able to be friends, but we're not going to be able to be okay. in a marriage. Uh, that's not the way I, I see it. But that's, that's the way the it way has to be. All right. And you have to accept that and move on. Yeah. But you know I still love you because you're no, the father you of my that, children. No, you don't. That's not love. That, I, that's not love. I'm, I feel like I'm just your kid's daddy. That's all I feel like. You're not just my kid's daddy. No, we no, have no, to raise no. them as a family. You're still a good uh, friend. Uh, you're a great boyfriend. Friend? Whatever. Well, you're you're a great boyfriend because you'll spend all your money on me, yeah. but you won't have any lights on in the well, house. Well, when you get you get find that rich man.